one. All right, so right now I have a, a Jade's program, okay? So it would was prescribed right here on this. So this was the prescription for Jade's program, okay? And that was on um, the left hand side, and that was prescribed by her partner Deborah, okay? So presumably Jade went through and she did this whole program. So she did her day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five. And she did a good job with this because she wrote down her rating of perceived exertion and also how much she enjoyed that exercise. Okay. So what I'm going to do is looks like she already made a week two. Okay. So that's good. So she didn't necessarily fill in anything right now on week two. But this is what I want you to be doing for today's program is you're going to be filling in that week two. So in this case, I can actually just keep all of these exercises the same so all you have to really do is just copy and then let's go into week two and then we can paste that in and you can make that decision if you want to actually change some things change any exercises that's fine too but just for this part let's um let's keep that the same because we'll decide if she wants to change exercises um, based on how hard it was or how much she actually liked it. So I will just do day one for an example. So I'm just going to copy all of this too, and I'm going to move this over to here. Whoops. Okay. So now I see everything that Jade did on her first day last week. Now let's look at, um, things that might have been too easy. So I think anything that's a six or lower is probably too easy. So these two might have been just right. So actually let's just highlight that. I guess I don't know how to highlight. Okay, there we go. So those are things where we might want to change. Um, well, it depends on if she has more load, but these are things that we want to make more challenging. All right, so it doesn't look like she loved this exercise, so we might want to change that exercise. She didn't like that exercise. And then it looks like she did not like that exercise. Okay. So just by looking at that, I know which one, ones were the load that I might want to change. And I know which ones were the exercises I might want to change. So maybe she, so maybe she didn't want to necessarily like this uh, reverse uh, side sit up. So what we can do is we can just, I won't change it. I'll let you all make the decision on how you want to change it. But So we might want to change that exercise. Now let's look at this one. Um, she liked the exercise, but it probably wasn't that um, that challenging. So she did uh, plank with backpack. Presumably that's 20 seconds. So what we might want to do now is maybe she, let's say she had like two textbooks in there. So now we might want to say at three textbooks. So maybe she put that in her backpack and did a plank. So that would just be a progression. I look at that. She likes it, but it was too easy. Let's do the same thing with this. Uh, and this is something that she might have liked, but it was also probably too easy. So it was a bicycle crunch. So what we can do now, if we want to progress that, maybe we're going to say something like um, 15. So we went up in reps. So here's another one that she liked, um, and, but it also wasn't that challenging. So she did 3 by 20 at no load. So maybe we want to do something like this. Maybe now we want to do 3 by 20 with one second pause on extension. So just keep looking at uh, the training variables that are available to you and how can you make that more challenging. So let's look at that. She really likes sit-ups. Uh, she did it with a dumbbell. I'm not sure necessarily the load. But maybe we want to increase the load, but just because I don't know the load, um, I'll put 15, okay? Um, and then this was one that she thought was hard, but she also didn't necessarily like. 
So it was a leg raise. So maybe we want to do something different because that wasn't an enjoyable exercise for her. So we can just try something new. So if it's a leg raise, um, which is going to be a core exercise, maybe we would just want to do um, ab scissors. All right. And then maybe we just want to say three by 25. So that's how we'd fiddle around with the programming. I will, um, before I continue on and let you start to work on your own programs, um, does anyone have any questions? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, let me, I'll check on your program right now, okay? Um, okay, so you're talking about the program that you're doing, right? So the one that you're following, right? So what you would do is just make sure you have, again, I would make sure you make a Google Sheet. So you need to fill in, uh, yeah. Okay, good. So if you have your Google Sheet, so you're just going to be filling in, it, have you only done day one? Okay, so technically on your program, you're not doing anything. This is what Will is going to be doing. So he's going to be taking your day one and looking at, oh, so remember we, we chatted a little bit about this. This column needs to be RPE instead of rest. And then that one's enjoyability. So um, just clear that up. And then Will is going to do that. Um, he's going to update your program for you. Okay. He's going to, so he would copy this, right? And he would move it into a new template, into the next sheet. So you're not personally doing anything on that, but... Uh, you are going to be going right here on, on Scott's program, the one that you wrote for him. So it looks like Scott's actually filled out some of his stuff. So what you do is you're just going to copy all of this, what he actually did. So right now we have two usable days, okay? So you're going to cop you're going to copy that. I can't actually do this because it's not a Google Sheet, so you need to make a Google Sheet. Uh, so you're going to copy that. And you're going to paste it into a new tab, just like how I did with Jade's program. And you're going to look at this. So you're going to look at, okay, what didn't he like? So he gave a five, a five, and a five. So it didn't seem like he loved those exercises. So what you might want to do is switch these exercises for something new. Now let's look at these things. It looks like everything on here minus the foot fire was sufficiently challenging. Okay. So you can still, if, if he rates a seven, you can still make that more challenging. If he rates a good rule of thumb, if it's a seven, you can make it seven or lower. You can make it more challenging. If it's a if someone rates their RPE as a five, then it's really really easy. So you can increase whatever your variable you're going to increase a little bit more. If it's a seven, you might just increase it a little bit. If it's an eight, you can probably keep it the same. So now we look at this. Let's look here. So these two exercises he really liked. He really liked dips and calf raises. So we'll keep them the same. Um, he gave it an RPE nine. So we probably want to keep that the same too, because he's that's pretty challenging. So we're not going to touch that. But the calf raises, he did five by ten, and that was pretty easy. So how would you make that more challenging? Maybe now he's doing calf raises with a backpack on. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, pull up your thing. So, are you right here? Are you seeing the same screen I'm seeing? Yeah. Just make a new one though, so you can um, so it can be right up there. So this is what. So we want to have this say RPE. All right. Let's just take a look. So this should say RPE. Yep. So one sec. So all right, cool. So you're still you're on the same sheet as me. So so all you do right here to make a new sheet is 
Do you see this little tab down here where it says week one? Yep, right down here where my arrow is. Bottom left hand corner. Okay, so you just go over, go add sheet, label it as week two, okay? So this, I mean, you're not necessarily doing anything with this program because this is your program. So Will's going to be updating it. You're going to be updating Will's program, all right? Correct, so you're Will's coach right now. Say that again? No, 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 no. This is fine because this is what you did. So you're supposed to write this down because Will prescribed this. Um, Will prescribed this for you. So this is left side is coach side is what coach prescribes. Right side is client side. This is what you actually did. So this is what you this is what you did. You've done this so far. Yep. So all Will has to work with right now is this, is day one, because you haven't uh, filled out day two, day three, or day four. Yeah. So, but if you're going into, if you're going into Will's program, so if I opened up uh, uh, right here, so I'll just open that with Google Sheets. So what you would be doing is looking at his program. So he's already filled all of this in. So now you need to make week two. Go back to week one and then just look at what he's, this is what he's put in right now. So he's given you two days to work with. You just didn't write RPE on those things. Yep, so now you have this. And then all you're going to be doing is, again, just so I can look at this and I can say, okay, so he didn't like that. So I got to change it. He didn't like that. So I should change it. Uh, he didn't like this. So I should change it. Looks like he's okay with everything right here. Um, and then let's see here. And everything looks relatively tough, but I might be able to make it harder right here. And I might be able to make it harder right there. Does that make sense? All right. Um, back to right here. Yeah, so you're right, you're right there. Or is that Will? Will's right there. So you're asking how do you copy it? You just, okay, so you're right here, I got you. So all you do is you click, hold down on that, and then just drag it across, okay? Click and drag, like that, all right? Exactly, copy and paste it, yep. All right, I'm gonna pause the recording, so at